this is Santej Kalada and today in this video I'll be showing you how you can build a YouTube content repurposing engine. So first of all what do I mean by that? Let me just quickly show you a sample input and output so that you will know what we are going to achieve by the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial we will be building a form like this, a simple form like this where you will be submitting any of your YouTube videos. So I have this video and I'll just submit it here. You can just paste your YouTube link here, click on the submit button. In my case, I have already submitted it and let me show you how the output would look like. If you submit a video like that, what our automation will do is it will download the video, like it will get the transcript of that video and using that transcript, it will create a LinkedIn post See here. This is the LinkedIn post it has created. Then a Reddit post as well as the Reddit title. See, Reddit title. See, when you're writing the Reddit post, it will be written like a real human. So we all these changes would be made through prompting. Then we have the school post. I run a school community. So whenever I publish a video, I post the same video in my school community. Of course, in your case, it might be a Facebook group or something like that. So you can replace the title here accordingly, the column names accordingly. And using the same transcript, it will create an email as well. See here, this is the email that it has generated. So this is basically what you're going to achieve by the end of this video. Let me just quickly show you the requirements for this automation. So you need an N18 account. So as for N18 account, you can use a self-hosted account. So if you want a self-hosted account, I'll give a link to a video in the description of this video where you can self-host N18. Otherwise, if you don't want the hassle of going through all the self-hosting, you can purchase a cloud account from N8. So it will cost you somewhere around 24 euros per month. You need an API Fi account. Okay. You can sign up for a free account in API Fi. So sign up for a free account. You do not need a paid account. It will give you $5 in credits. That's more than enough. With $5, you can download the transcript of almost 1000 plus videos. And you need an open AI API key, mainly for creating the content. And what does this automation do? As I told you, it takes a YouTube video, repurposes the content as a LinkedIn post, Reddit post, email, as well as a school community post or a Facebook group post. So how much can you sell this automation? for? See, I personally sell this automation for somewhere around $500. Okay, But I have seen people who charge somewhere around $2,000 to $3,000 just for this content repurposing. It's a matter of sales, how much you can sell it for. So there will be people who are selling it for 2000 3000 maybe even $5,000 as well. If you want, you can hire me to set this up for you. As I told, my charge will be somewhere around $500 to set up everything for you. Otherwise, just follow this tutorial and you will be able to set it up by yourself. You need to go to your N8 account. Click on this Create Workflow button. And once the workflow is created, the first step would be to add a form submission. So just search for form. And once you search for a form, just click on this and under triggers, you have an on new form event. Just click on that. So once you click on that, it will be coming like this. Then you can rename it here, whatever you need and just fill the form fields like this. Quickly show you. See, this is the form title, YouTube content repurposing engine. Then we need to add a field and the field name would be video link field type would be text and it would be a required field okay. and that is everything about it next what you need to do is you need to get the transcript of the video see youtube automatically generates a transcript for your video so you just need to download that for that we'll be using a site called api file so just sign up for a free account with api file and go to the console And you have something like just here, so there's something known as API file store. So go to API file store and search for YouTube transcript scraper. Now it is showing you the results for the YouTube transcript scrapers. There are so many scrapers. So what I'll do is I'll search by paper result, paper result scrap. There is a scraper called YouTube Transcript Scraper dollar six plus six dollar for one thousand results by using Long Marman. So I am personally using this one. Of course, you can try the other scrapers as well, but I am personally using this one. So I'll just select that. 
then give a random YouTube URL here click on JSON it will generate the JSON for you and next thing we would be interested is go to this API click on API endpoints then go down then there is an option called run actor synchronously and get data set item so this is what you would be interested in okay so just copy this one just copy this and paste it here paste the entire one see if you are copying that see in this particular url the token would be there but it is not safe to send tokens like this so what i have done is that token part I have removed. Instead, what I have done is under authentication, I have selected the generic credential type. Then here I have selected the option header authentication. Here you can just click on create new credentials. And in the name, type it as authorization. Here in the value, type bearer space, then whatever is your token. So in this case, my case, the token would be something like this, whatever comes after this. I'll have to reset my token. See, whatever comes after this one would be my token. See here. After token, whatever comes, that would be my token. So I'll just put it here. Okay. I have deleted some part of my token. Okay. So anyway, whatever comes after this token, that is your real token so just copy that and put it here so this part just this part copy it and go and paste it here in the value and save it okay and please do not worry if at all these things uh, you find this a bit complex because i'll be giving this entire workflow totally free okay so it will be available for free in my school community all you have to do is just download this and create a workflow and here you have an option called import from file just click that and import the automation okay now what we need to do is in our automation we need to add a http node search for http add this and once you have added the node just from here connect it to the node and you can rename it as get video transcript and as i told you in the url give that give this particular url without this uh, there is a question mark and token without that part till here okay till here just add it here and method should be it should be actually post for some reason it is working with get as well and everything and here in this part what you have to do is here if you click json you will get something like this copy this json and in my case, see, include timestamp option is on. I do not actually want that. So what I'll do is I'll switch it off. And then I'll go to JSON and see here, timestamp equal to false. I'll copy this one. And I'll paste it here. Okay. In the body. Okay. In the body, I've pasted it. Now what you need to do is, from our previous node, whatever we are getting in the form, we need to connect it here. So what I'll do is, uh, let me just show you a sample run. Yes, See, this is a sample output. See, I have the video link as a form submission. So just drag and drop it here. Okay. Just drag this thing and drop it here under the start URLs in this both columns. So just paste it there. Once that is done, that part is completely finished. Now what you need to do is you need to add OpenAI nodes for generating content. So I'll just type OpenAI. Then you have an option called Messenger model. That's what I've used here. And here I have renamed. Click here and you can rename it to whatever you want. And after this one, and always if you're using OpenAI, please, please choose the model 4.1. And if you do not have an OpenAI account connected here, all you have to do is you can click on create new credentials and log into your see this particular link just open in the new tab so basically platform.openai.com slash api keys so once that page is loaded just create a new key and make sure that you have at least five dollars in credits i don't want to create an openai account again so i'm not doing it so other than that select the option 4.1 model as 4.1 
and next it's all about the prompt okay this open ai and any llms it works in this concept that is garbage in garbage out so if you do not invest time into your prompt like you will get garbage output that is 100 percentage guarantee see i have personally spent at least half an hour to create this particular prompt and i have tested different things only after that i have finalized this particular prompt a very detailed prompt so make sure that you spent quite some amount of time and prepare a prompt for creating your linkedin post and add it here anyway as, as i told you i'll be giving all my prompts for totally for free of course you can modify it from there so that is one note then i'll just duplicate that then here for email also i have created a very detailed prompt okay like what are the things to be discussed everything then transcript and youtube url everything is added it's all about prompting then reddit post and school community post everything i have done in a similar way next you need to add a merge node that is you need to combine the output from all these things into one single item so just add a merge item this particular item and connect the output to here and inside merge use the option combine then combine by select the option position and number of inputs how many inputs you have so select that here so with that the merging is done it will be combined into one single item see all these four items is combined into one single item like this now what i'll do is i'll add a google sheet just add the google sheet and once google sheet is added of course you need to have a google sheet account connected if you do not have an account just click on create new credentials and here they have an option called open docs click on this open docs and follow the instructions here and even if that is also confusing for you what i'll do is in the description of this video i'll, I'll give you a tutorial where i show you how to connect your google sheets account to enator so please follow that tutorial step by step and you can connect it and once you have connected the account everything select the option up and row then from the document list select your sheet okay and uh, select your document as well as the sheet then it's a matter of mapping okay so here it will show you all your video titles all your column titles see whatever is the column titles it will show you here you just need to connect these things from the merge node so in schema see here the linkedin post content is here i'll just drag and drop it here if i go down see here i have the email subject and email content so i'll just drag and drop it here so, so likewise do it for the reddit post and school community post as well so with that this automation is actually finished you can just save it and see if you are doing it for your clients what you can do is you can just share your production url with your clients okay so just create a google sheet like this in your account maybe share this sheet with your client and share this form link so whenever client has a requirement he'll submit the form in maximum two minutes he'll get this content repurposed for different social mediums so i hope you like this video so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video that definitely helps me with the algorithms and ranking and stuff and as i told you this particular workflow it's available for free in my school community you can join my school community and you'll get this template entirely for free and you can just import it in your n8 and meanwhile, if you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you and have a great day.